A couple of weeks ago, we tested Tesla's acceleration and steering wheel modes, but what we didn't test is the Tesla stopping modes because there are actually three different stopping modes. We've got roll, creep, and hold. So today we're gonna go through all three Let's get into it. All right, so to begin with, I just wanna explain how the pedals currently work because all Teslas are automatic cars, so there is no clutch, which is, in my opinion, a massive, massive bonus because it just makes driving so, so much easier. So, if I wanna start driving forward, if I was to press the accelerator right now, which, by the way, super exciting news, we've got a pedal cam, Ooh. look at that, look at this. I've worn my new shoes and everything. So if I press the accelerator right now, Nothing happens. All it does is tell me to shift into drive or reverse. So what I have to do is I have to put the car into drive or reverse. So to do that, I press the brake and then I have to push this stalk over here, either down for drive or up for reverse. And now you heard that cool little noise that it does and the car's in drive. So if I press the accelerator now, we actually start to move forward as you can see. And then if I wanna go into reverse, whack this stalk up. And now when I press the accelerator, we go into reverse, it's as simple as that. So, you know, nice and straightforward. And then to put the car back into park, all I do is push this stalk. There's a little button at the end. And there you go, you hear the little and we're back in park and the accelerator doesn't do anything. All right, so let's start messing with the stopping modes. So at the moment, I'm on hold. This is what I drive on normally and I'll explain why shortly. But for now, we're gonna change to roll. Roll when pedals are released. So now, if I go into drive, you will see exactly what happens. So. Press the accelerator and we start casually going forwards. But if I let go of the pedals completely, right now, you can see that the car is still rolling along. And we just churn along. And even though I'm not touching any of the pedals, you can see that we're still going at about three miles an hour. And that should start decreasing down to two. We're still rolling so, so slow. Wait for it, wait for it. One. And hold on, hold on. Here we go. And we are now... Yay. We've come to a stop. Excellent stuff. And now, if I was to go ahead and do a 0 to 60 <laughs> and let go, you can see that we are now slowly decreasing in speed. So we're now at 40 miles an hour, heading down to 30 miles an hour, and on screen we've got exactly how long it's going to take before we come to a complete stop from 60 miles an hour. So you can see that we're on 5, 4, and it gets slower the slower that you get as well. So 3, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And then two, hold on. How long before we come to a complete stop? And one, and... <laughs> there it is. We got to zero miles an hour. So that's why it's called rolling, because you roll for way, way longer. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna spin around and we're gonna switch to creep mode so that we can see exactly what kind of difference creep mode makes. Oh, I roll backwards as well. That, that freaked me out a little oh, yeah, bit. because I, I was not used to that. I very nearly just crashed into that van. <laughs> right, so here we go. We're gonna go back into park. We're gonna go to driving. And now we're gonna be creeping about. Slowly move when pedals are released. Well, that sounds very exciting. Let's give it a go. So we're just gonna go at about five miles an hour. Fair enough, 10 miles an hour. And at this point, I'm gonna let go of the pedals and very similar to roll it decreases speed but it's definitely taking longer to do so i wonder if it's going to go down from four to zero because by this point on roll mode we would be at about two miles an hour and we'd be about to come to a stop but it looks like very similar to the way a petrol and manual car works it's just going to continue us on four miles an hour until i actually press the brake yeah i think we're just going to infinitely go at four miles an hour so I'm gonna actually press the brake now. And as you can see, that is how we stop. Oh, but if I let go of the brake, we set off again. Oh, wow, we're off. I didn't know it did that, that's so weird. So that actually means you literally need to hold the brake and effectively put your handbrake on, which in this case is a button. So that stopping mode is definitely the closest to like a traditional petrol car, like our Citroen that we drive. That's really, really strange. That feels so weird in the Tesla. So if I just start driving again and I let go, off we go, we will just infinitely travel at about four miles an hour. That is really, really strange. So because we will just drive infinitely and we won't stop until I actually press the brake, there's no point in me doing that 0 60 test like we did with uh, roll mode. But what I will do is I'll go onto hold mode so you can see just how different that is to the other two. And you'll be able to see why I love hold mode so much. Okay, here we go, time for my favorite mode. Hold mode maximizes range by extending regenerative braking to lower speeds and automatically blend in brakes to hold the vehicle at a stop. 
excellent stuff. So let me go to 10 miles an hour like I have done with the other two modes, just so you can see what happens. So we start driving, and now at this point, I let go of the pedal. Oh, and already we've come to a stop. Look at that. Hold mode, basically just as soon as you let go of the pedals, it starts slowing you down. And this is amazing. It really changes the way you drive normally on the roads because basically you never need to use the brake. Unless something unexpected happens, like a car pulls out in front of you on the motorway, you can basically just calculate with your brain and your foot when to let go of the accelerator so that you don't need to use the brake at all because it just starts instantly slowing down for you. So what I'm going to do is a 0 to 60 test. Whoa! Hold on, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> and let go of the accelerator and you can see that obviously it's not going to just instantly like hold us back and start braking because that would just not be effective for normal driving and it would make a really uncomfortable journey but once we get to those lower speeds of about 20 miles an hour the gap from 20 to zero is way way shorter than when you're on roll mode and you can see that we already came to a stop so here are the two times for roll mode stopping from 0 to 60 and hold mode stopping from 0 to 60 you can see the hold mode is way way shorter so now what i want to do is i'm going to actually start just driving around on normal roads just so i can demonstrate exactly what i do with my pedals on hold mode so we are coming up to a junction very shortly so with our incredibly high quality pedal cam you will see if i actually need to go ahead and press the brake so it's quite a fun game actually because you can kind of guess with yourself at what point do I need to let go of the pedals in order to stop at the correct point so you can see that I'm just easing off very very gently and just like that I've already stopped at the junction and I've not pressed the brake once isn't that fantastic it's just so easy so your left foot is just not required at all so now we'll just carefully get across here yeah we're clear whoa hold on Becky whoa, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I really like doing that without giving Becky any kind of warning. But you can see that we're heading into a 60 zone right now, so we can fly on the Whoa. pedal. <laughs> My tummy still goes every um, time. But because of this lorry, I'm, I'm going to just ease off. And you can see that I have not pressed the brake once this entire journey. And we're coming up to a giveaway sign now. So once again, I'll just know exactly when to start easing off. Look at this. So I've just let go. You probably can't even see on pedal cam that I've even let go because of how lightly I do it. But once you're used to it, you just know exactly when to stop. And once again, we've stopped in the perfect position at this junction without having to use the brake once, which is just really, really, really handy. And now off we go again. So this is quite a fast 60 road, so we can get up to 60 nice and quickly. But further down, there is some tight corners. So when we get to those, I'll want to start easing off a little bit. And then I have nothing to say here, so we'll probably just go ahead. <laughs> All right, here we go. That corner's coming up. And you can see that I've just managed to reduce my speed down to about 50 with some very, very minor changes to how much pressure I'm putting on the accelerator. We can speed up a little bit more on this straight. And then we've got this tight corner coming up. So now I just know to ease off about here and it instantly starts uh, the regenerative braking kicks in and we go down to 40 and my foot barely has even moved and now this is an even tighter corner so we can go down to like 35 squeeze round with just these tiny tiny amounts of like pressure and letting go of the accelerator and it's just as easy as that and then I just start accelerating again look at this it's so good it just makes driving so so much easier because i think the hardest part about learning to drive for me was the biting point and having to like always make sure you get that right whereas this is completely taken away in this car look we're coming up to a train so i just start very very carefully easing off not pressing the brake at all and we stop at the perfect point behind this car so we've stopped at this train and uh, it's it's kind of unrelated to the stopping mode video, but just look at how hilariously the train lights are displayed with the traffic lights. You can see that as they flash, the traffic lights just jump backwards and forwards. <laughs> <laughs> Which, to be fair, that is good, because if we were on autopilot, I would want to stop here. So even though they're displaying something which isn't actually there, they would do the correct thing and they'd stop, which, you know, that's good. But yeah, another thing I absolutely love about hold mode is that it works on hill starts as well. You might not be able to tell because we're in a very flat area, but we are actually on a hill right now. So if I let go of the pedal all of a sudden, we stop. Now in a more traditional car, if I didn't put the handbrake on, we'd be rolling backwards right now. But that just doesn't happen here. And the car is ready to go whenever. I don't have to try and find the biting point. If I want to start moving again, all I do is lightly press the accelerator and you can see that we're off. It is so, so easy. And it's just something that you never have to worry about. You don't have to worry about rolling back, which is something that constantly would get me a little bit nervous when I was driving in my petrol car. So 
absolute huge change, really, really massive bonus. And what I haven't even mentioned yet is that every single time I do this and I let go of my accelerator, you will see that on the screen, this little green bar pops up. So I let go of the accelerator now. And every time you see that tiny green bar, that means that we're actually pushing energy back into the battery and the car's doing its regenerative braking you can see it again there so that would actually charge the car so if we were to go down a big hill we'd potentially end up with more miles in the battery than when we were at the top of the hill if we were just using the regenerative braking and the harsher it breaks the more energy it goes in so you can see right now i'm going at 50 miles an hour so if i was to very quickly let go of the accelerator we get a big long green bar and it stays pretty long until we come to complete stop. So this right now is giving us more power, which is absolutely unreal to know. So there's only one last thing I wanna test now, and that is how does creep mode and roll mode work when you're in reverse? Will you creep and roll in reverse? So let's go do that. Okay, so once again, we head into driving and I'm gonna change roll. No, creep. Yeah, I wanna do creep. I think that'll be the funnest. So into reverse, push the accelerator, and I'm gonna let go. Do we just reverse infinitely backwards? Oh my God, we do. That is so weird. I'm just not touching anything right now. We're just slowly reversing. Is there any benefit in that? I, I can understand certain benefits if that's what you're used to going forwards, but is this how our Citroen would behave if we were in reverse? No. I don't think so. All right, well, we're about to crash into that gate, so I will come to a stop. That's weird. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you think of that ability, that function? Because I guess it's good to have the same mode forwards and backwards just so you don't get mixed up and forget something. But I don't see why that's useful. Oh, God. I'm Becky, I'm really not used to letting go of the brake. It'll start moving again. That's so weird. Okay, let's just see if it does the same in uh, roll mode, and then we can end off this video. So, reverse. I'll do a quick little exert. And now I'll let go. Yeah, it behaves the same backwards. So we're kind of creeping, but this time we will actually come to a stop because we're, we're creeping rather than rolling. And there it is. Yeah, weird. <laughs> hey guys, what do you think of pedal cam? Look at my little foot waggling about. Great stuff. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did and you found it interesting, leave a like, click that subscribe button. Would really, really appreciate it. Me and Becky want to get to half a million subscribers by the end of the year. That would be absolutely incredible. And now that we can do a little bit more, we've got some like bigger Tesla videos planned, some exciting challenges and stuff. So you do not want to miss out. Click that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you want us to test next. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. I'm waving via foot cam. Great stuff. Bye everyone. <laughs>